O oh Lord, our gracious Heavenly Father, thank you, Father, for this day. We thank you for all children who are listening to this lesson. And as we begin our class, give us the wisdom to understand your words. Help us to focus on our hearts and minds now on what we are about to learn. We ask all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. A very good morning, dear kids. Hope you all are doing good. And I'm sure you all are having great time at your home with your family. And your online classes also must be going on, right? Okay. So, without wasting much time, let's see what we learned in the last lesson. Yes. So, we learned about Abraham, who loved God very much and had great faith in God. And God chose Abraham to bless all the families and nations of the earth. So let's see the memory verse. I hope you all have learned it as well. So the memory verse for the last lesson was, I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. Bible reference Genesis chapter 12 verse 2. If you have not learned, no problem. Please learn it and memorize it, okay? So now, let's look into the next chapter. That is lesson number 13 on page number 84. And the lesson name is Jonah's Ship Journey. And the Bible passage is from the book of Jonah, chapters 1 and 2. Please go through both the chapters once at least with the help of your parents. So, before learning about the story, I would like to ask you a few things. So ready? Just think and answer. Tell me who all are the people you must obey. Yes, you should obey your parents, teachers and your elders, right? So have you been disobedient at any time? Has it happened any time that your mother called you and you disobeyed, disobeyed her? Hmm, yes, I'm sure it must have happened many times, right? Yes, at times we become little disobedient. So, and if you don't obey, what is the result of it? Yes, I'm sure you get some small punishment or some scoldings and all right but still you know that your mother loves you your parents loves you and later they sometimes give you chocolates also so uh, in our today's lesson we are going to learn about a person somebody who disobeyed God so let's see who is it so there was a person whose name was Jonah and he was God's prophet. Prophet means who shares God's message. One day God said to Jonah, go to the city, great city of Nineveh and preach to them. And if the people there do not stop their wickedness, I will destroy their land. Who said this? God said this. God told Jonah to go and preach to the people of Nineveh and the people over there were very wicked you know what is wicked wicked means people I mean they were doing all wrong things all bad things which God never liked now Jonah was thinking what to do as Jonah did not like the people of Nineveh as they were really very bad and he was very scared to go there and he also must have told to himself you know that God God wants me to go to Nineveh oh no no way that I'm going to Nineveh and he was really scared because he thought maybe those people that those people will kill him so he was very sure that he will not go to Nineveh so instead of obeying God Jonah got into a ship going to another place called Tarshish so do you think what Jonah did was right by disobeying God? No. 
Now, the ship started sailing and Jonah went far away from Nineveh where God wanted him to go. Jonah went to the lowest deck of the ship and slept nicely, thinking now he is safe and God will not find him. But do you think that God will not find? No, God will definitely find him, right? But because Jonah disobeyed God, the Lord sent a great wind and a huge waves and that began to rock the ship. Then suddenly there was lightning, thunderings and very bad storm. Can you imagine what the people inside the ship must be going through? The sailors in the ship started throwing out all goods from the ship. Can you see here in the picture? Yes. People in the ship started crying out in fear. Each and, each and everyone cried and prayed to their God to save them. But the storm kept, kept getting worse. Finally, they realized one man was sleeping. Do you know who was he? Yes, he was Jonah. Jonah was sleeping nicely in the deck, in the lowest deck. So they woke him up and told him to start praying to his God. But Jonah realized that the sea had become angry and rough because he disobeyed God. So he told to others, pick me up and throw me into the sea. Then with a very sad heart, sailors threw Jonah into the sea. Can you see that? Yes. They, threw, they, they just threw him into the sea and suddenly the very bad storm stopped and the sea become calm. Can you see in the picture? Yes. Now you can see the, the, the sea is very calm, right? But the sailors were sad that Jonah will drown. But do you know what? <laughs> God had some other plans to save Jonah. You know what? Yes, God sent a huge fish. Can you see Jonah drawing, drowning down? Yes, God sent a huge fish to save Jonah. But now you must be thinking, how can a big fish, a huge fish save somebody? It can only eat Jonah, right? Let's see what happened. And exactly as you thought, the fish swallowed Jonah up. Do you know where Jonah was sleeping now? Yes. Do you think, can you just think where it is? It is not his house or the ship, but yes, it is in the stomach of the fish. Yes, Jonah stayed three days in the ship, in the stomach of the fish. Now lying there inside the fish, he felt very lonely and scared. Then he cried out to God asking forgiveness and he prayed continuously. So what do you think God must have done? Yes, God heard his prayer and God commanded the fish to vomit, vomit Jonah out on the dry land. Can you see here the fish vomiting out Jonah on the dry land? And Jonah got up from there and do you know what he did? Yes, he went to Nineveh as God asked him and told the people to stop sinning. They believed Jonah and God saved them. I hope you like the story of Jonah. So what did we learn from the story? That God wants us to listen to him, listen to elders, our parents and teachers and good things will happen when we listen to God. Let's see the keywords. Prophet, a person chosen to speak for God. Nineveh, the city where God asked Jonah to go and preach. <coughs> Jonah, Jonah was God's prophet. Fish, God sent a huge fish to save Jonah. Tarshish, disobeying God, Jonah was going to another place 
called tarshish so there is a, a small uh, uh, you know a, a thing which is uh, you have to just arrange look at the pictures below and put the tick mark against those in the story so you can do this but is there a bird in the picture in the story no so you can just cut it off but there is a ship you can tick that there is no boat there is a fish you can tick that and that is jonah you can tick that as well and there is no snake in the story right let's see the question answers to where did god ask jonah to go nineveh why did the sea get angry because jonah was disobedient to god what did god do to save jonah god sent a huge fish to save jonah whom did god send to save us when we moved away from god with our disobedience yes god sent jesus the son of god Uh, so this picture, color the picture. You can just color the picture, which is given on page number eighty-six. Now let's see the decision. Your decision should be: I will never disobey my parents, teachers, and elders. Okay. So now let's see the memory verse. Now the Lord provided a huge fish to swallow Jonah. Taken from Jonah chapter one verse seventeen a. I repeat, you can repeat after me. Now the Lord provided a huge fish to swallow Jonah. Okay. Now let's see the song which says, "Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust, trust and obey." So I'll play the song. You can also do the action and learn the song. like the song so now let's look into the week 2 exercise so here uh, you can see the picture you can learn the story and you can see the story okay now let's look into the question answers who was the prophet who did not go to the place god had told but went to a different place it's jonah to which place did God ask the prophet to go? Nineveh. Who did God use to save Jonah? God sent a huge fish. How many days did Jonah stay in the fish stomach? Three days. Who came to the world to call back us who go away from God? 
Yes, it's Jesus. So now, uh, here is connect the dots and color the picture. You can just connect the dots and you can color this picture. Okay. Now, now let's pray. Dear God, thank you for blessing us and loving us unconditionally. Thank you for everything you have given to us, Lord. Lord, even if we go away from you at times, we disobey you, still you forgive us every time. Lord, help us to live in obedience to your call. Help us to be like you, Master, to love everyone. Lord, we pray for each and every child of yours. I pray for this whole world which is going through this, this challenging times, God. Master, bless everyone. Thank you once again for all the good things you have given to us. Teach us to count our blessings in good times and bad. Thanking you for your amazing love. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. God bless you all.